Okay guys, how's it going? I didn't want to have to do this. But, you know, I can use this as a platform for this kind of thing that's just, you know, pissing me off. You know, I pay my taxes, I pay my... I pay all my, you know, revenues, everything like that, to be able, to be allowed to afford to stay in this place that I live, my beautiful house. And, you know, sometimes you just get freeloaders who don't pay their taxes and who just come around and, you know, just make a racket, you know, up till all hours of the night. And, you know, I've had enough with it. I've had enough of it. So, this is it. I'm, I'm shouting you guys out. Shut the hell up. Okay, guys. Just keep it down a bit, would you? You know what I mean? Yeah, well. <laughs> just keep it fuck, they're all coming over. Okay, guys, it's cool. You know what? Actually, you know, I'll just go home and, um, you know, you guys just, you, you know, just have a nice day, you know? I'll send over a couple of beers or something. All right, sorry guys. Okay, so my wife is gonna be delighted to discover when she gets home from work that I have been in the attic space today, crawling around looking for a heap of old stuff that I've got. So I found a heap of stuff and uh, yeah, we'll just have a look at it. Okay, first I got a heap more of these ladybird books, these ones, uh, heaps. So I've just pulled out kind of some of the better ones and we'll have a look. Uh, Underwater exploration. Understanding maps. British wild animals. Oh, I'm really chuffed for this one. Magnets, bulbs and batteries. Our land in the making. That's cool. It's awesome photo on there. I hope the light's doing that justice. Underwater exploration. Oh, is that us back to the start? That's awesome though. Yeah, it is. That's the key. The key issue of the whole find, it's knackered, but still, I'm chuffed with that. I also found this little Robocop. You're not going to be able to see him, but he's going to be staring at me from now on. So he's right beside you. He's, he's watching over you guys more than anything. There we go. Uh, my Proyo 2, the red and green one. It might be... This is maybe a bit risky. I don't know how long it's been out of use for. Here we go. All right, okay. Yeah, no spinning, but yo-yo. This Sonic the Hedgehog Rubik's Cube style majiggy. He's already completed Sonic, so... Oh, you can't really see. Yeah, so it kind of spins around. But we'll leave Sonic completed. Sweet. There. Can you even see that? You can. Sweet. These old school playing cards. We'll just show you the Joker. Cool. Yeah. Milk and cheese. I think that's just like number one. The trade, number one, I mean. If anybody's into milk and cheese, give me a shout. Sonic the Hedgehog annual. Well, no, this is actually a trade. This is a trade. Sonic the Hedgehog trade. This is number two, spin attack. This is official Sonic the Hedgehog annual. I think it's 93. It's whenever the second one came out. There's stills of the second game in there. Uh, 92. 92. I've wrote my name on there, looking my best handwriting. Superman Storybook Annual. I think this is 1970s. I'm not sure, but he can go up there with the... Oh, it's in Roman numerals, I'm not doing that for you. These are we stack of 2000 ADs that have got Grant Morrison's Zenith in them. There you go, there's even a cover. So some Zenith, awesome. That's a great cover. I need to get some bags for these. I should have showed these first. 
some issues of Sonic the comic. This was the book that I was picking up when I was younger. This is issue 47. Oh no, it's not. It's number 14. Someone's had the prize off of it, so it's been mangled. This is number 106. But I think Mark Miller cut his teeth on some of these, so you might want to check them out if you're into him. These two Tintin books. This is The Black Isle. This is the one where he goes to Scotland. And then this one, I think this is actually an original one. The Shooting Star. It's hardback. It's a bit beaten up, but... This, Duke Nukem 3D for the PC. It's got a sticker, manky sticker on it, but it's still got all the packages and the disc. Awesome. I did have Dungeon Keeper up there, but I couldn't find it. Two tape decks, which uh, I looked out for a very specific reason. This briefcase of cassettes, if I can get into it. Oh, sweet. What have we got in here? Okay, that one doesn't work anymore. Mother's Milk, Red Hot Chili Peppers. De La Soul, Three Feet High Rising. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, that's a good one. Blood Sugar Sex Magic. So, keep it then. That was another... Just another copy of Mother's Milk that bit the dust, by the way. And it's actually, it's perfectly fine. These. So I got these in, this is a Sinclair ZX Spectrum. And the Spectrum Plus One? Spectrum, Spectrum Plus. So I got these in a, a jumble sale about a year ago, two years ago maybe. And I've never got around to plug it. Like I tried plugging them in and I got them powered up, but I couldn't get them connected or I can't remember how it worked I was I got somewhere with it but I don't I've got this just bag of wires and I've got no idea but I know you need those tape decks so because I've got a heap of games I'm gonna ask there's a guy I watch videos uh, Guru Larry his name is um, you should check him out if you're interested in retro gaming of any description he's got a heap of cool videos um, but I'm maybe going to ask him if he can find the time to watch this and tell me what the hell I'm doing with all of this stuff. Oh, there's a decathlon game. Checkered flag. Rock and wrestle. I don't even know if these are the right formats for the consoles. I assume they are. Twin Kingdom Valley. Uh, what's this called? Add... Ad Astra. I'd maybe have to look some of these up. Some of them might be worth a couple quid. Match day. This is a cool little box. So I think just whenever I see cassettes now in charity shops and stuff, I'm just going to buy them for the boxes because I've got all of this. This is, a, yeah, I'm not very happy with this, but, you know. Night Gunner. Sordoron's Sordoron's Shadow uh, Monty Monty Mole I don't know what the lights looking like on these uh, Strike Force Harrier uh, This one Deadly Computer Tape I don't think I'll ever play that one then uh, TLL no idea. Five star games. I'm annoyed that some of these don't have the boxes. That's just scribbled, whatever that is. A couple more guys. Uh, Blockbusters, sweet. Kronos. Definitely heard of that. So we're getting somewhere. Uh, Horizons. If this, if Guru Larry watches these, that would be really handy because he could tell me what the hell's going on. This is called Now Games Four, and this is just Winter Games. I'm assuming it's like an Olympic style, unless it's like snowball fighting and stuff. That'd be sweet. To finish it off, we've got 
Lord of the Rings, game one. The box is absolutely knackered. It was like this when I got it. It's not because it's been in my loft. But I mean, this is called, mm, not 100% sure, Doom Dark's Revenge. It's a cool cover though. And then the last one, it's not the last one, I'm lying to you. Oh, Sword Art and Shadow, I've got that game. So there's the box for that game that was down there. And then the last one is this. Turn and Aug it's called. Looks like a fa some fantasy style. I want to say RPG, but I don't know if that's true. But it's got this cool little map. So yeah, that's all of them. Hopefully, I mean, I'm not going to do it today. I'm going to do it tomorrow, maybe. I'm going to try and set this thing up and see if I can get playing any of them. So we'll get some footage through the week if I can. Um, so that's that. I've got the Mega Drive set up just now, so I'm going to take that down. Anyway, cheers, guys, and um, yeah, we'll see you for the next one. Yeah, I almost forgot. Found this pen knife too.